Hey guys! Look for that to focus. How's it going everybody? Welcome back. Hopefully you guys are all doing wonderful out there. Um, today, we're gonna be working on the Crackhead Camaro. Who would have guessed? And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below, share the video with some friends. Uh, come watch this build, join me, let's have a good... Okay, but we're doing something pretty fun. Grab the box. So today's video, we're finally getting rid of the stupid stereo in this car. Let me show you what I mean. When you hop in to the old crackhead Camaro, let's get the key out of my pocket here. We'll flip the key into accessory. This lovely radio is locked. So Chevy of this era, not sure if they still do it, but they decided as a great anti-theft device for these radios that if the power is cut, they lock. And I mean, in theory, it's a great idea, but if you get a new battery, you have to go get it unlocked. I'm pretty sure at the dealer. And I went and called my local dealers. I called two of them, calling you guys out. This radio, granted, is out of a different Camaro, but I have the VIN and the unlock code for it. They told me it could take four hours at $150 an hour with no promises that it would work. Now, if you're like me in any sense, after you heard those numbers, my gears started turning a little bit in my head and thinking, you could charge me $600 and I still would have no radio. Now, my biggest thing was I was worried about any of the OnStar features being lost until I heard about this great radio company specifically for Chevrolets called Digital Octopus. So if you guys know these Camaros or you have an eagle eye, you notice that the HVAC controls are tied in to the factory radio. Now that makes it very interesting trying to find a radio and a trim that work well together without being astronomically expensive. So I found one, I believe it was $480 for the trim that has the HVAC connection. Now the radios I was looking at, I'd like CarPlay, uh, so I can have my GPS, I can have easy access to my music and everything. And those are expensive. They're like $700 just for the head unit. So together, you're at meh. I was just like, that's astronomical just to be able to listen to music in this car. So this beautiful piece of electronic here, nice big touch screen, lock, unlock buttons down below, your hazards, and obviously your tuning and volume controls. This thing has the capability to have 4G so you can have Wi-Fi in the car. It has CarPlay and Android Auto. Not only that, is it very thin and nice and light. So if you guys are track focused and you would like to have some music, this thing probably weighs, let's say about three pounds. And it just looks beautiful. Like that could be a factory radio in this car. So we're gonna go ahead and ins uninstall that piece of crap that's in there. We're gonna install this beauty. So removing this radio isn't too bad. You have to remove the lower gauges here, which is all clips. You can just lift it out of here. And I just set it off to the side. You can see the wire there. And then we're gonna go ahead and pull these two seven millimeter bolts. I already pulled one to double check that the size was correct. And then we're gonna go ahead and I think this just pops out at the top. We'll remove that, unhook everything, and go ahead and slide in the digital octopus. Now, this does have a rear view camera plug-in, so if you guys do have a rear view camera, it's easy hookup and it'll work just fine. If you're like me and you didn't have one, I already ran an aftermarket one. I already ran a wire down here into the footwell, and I'll feed that over into the radio. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put my hand on the bottom of the radio. I'm gonna kinda put a little upward pressure and slide out to me. So here we go, we're gonna go ahead and push up, slide out there we go that pops it a little bit and I think from there I'm just caught on whatever this plastic is down here so I'll work that out and we'll get this radio out now we'll go ahead and set that on the floor we're gonna go ahead and pull the actual disc changer out and then from there we should be ready to roll looks like I've got one screw here Wow, this car is missing hardware. Insane. All right, you guys, this is gonna look pretty intimidating, but here's the back of the radio. With everything installed, we've got the backup camera hooked up. We've got all of the wires that came with my package. They came in this little bag over here that's on the floor. And I went ahead and wired them all into the back. So we've just got our plug and play harnesses. It was pretty easy. No cables can go in the wrong spot. No two connectors are the same. So that makes it nice and easy. So now we've got the GPS antenna here that we're gonna go ahead and route through inside of the radio box here. There's a hole on that side. We're gonna run it over to the glove box as well as our aftermarket mic. And as far as I'm concerned, there's no way to tap into the OEM microphones here on the car. So we're gonna go ahead and run that through the glove box. I'm gonna open that door, pop the side panel out, run it up the, t the pillar here. We're gonna hide it up in the headliner. And I'm gonna try to tuck it up. And then I'm gonna try to tuck it up in here. 
And we're gonna try to end the mic up here. The antenna for the GPS is actually gonna sit in the glove box. So with all that out of the way, we're gonna go ahead and route the antenna, the microphone, then we're gonna go ahead and set the radio in place. I am so excited for this, you guys. It's gonna be incredible. Let's do this. All right, you guys, so now that we have the GPS antenna and the microphone ran, we're gonna go ahead and shift our focus back to installing the radio. That is something I can do later. I'm gonna go ahead and tuck it out of the way nice and neat. So let's go ahead and get this nice touchscreen put into the dash. Okay, as you can see, the radio isn't fully installed. It's still just hanging here. I'm fighting some of the plastic down below. So before I go ahead and shove it all the way in, I wanna make sure everything works. So when I button it up, it's buttoned up for good. That's why I went ahead and ran that microphone and everything. Let's set you guys down right here and let's turn the car on. All right, you guys, the radio's installed. We got our lock button, our on lock, and our hazards. I did not install the chime because I honestly like not having any of the noises. It's super nice. So let's go ahead and set you guys down here. So we've got our GPS, we've got Bluetooth. I'm not connected yet. We'll hit the home button there. We got all of our apps. We got APK installer, which is pretty cool. We got our settings, display network sound, general, original, more factory. We'll go system. Let's see, Ooh, what would that be under? Oh, well, cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and mess with stuff later. We've got stuff on metric. We obviously have kilometers an hour. And then we've got Celsius up top for our temperature. Speaking of temperature, let's check air conditioning. Look at that. Woo! Let's go ahead and bump that up. Come on. Woo! Oh, that's nice and chilly. We can hit AC. Turn that off. Bump these down. So from my understanding, and we got all of our different settings here. Defrost and feet. We got, that's what it was. Uh, front and back, boom. This is way cool. Look at this, you guys. Way cool. With all these different settings, we got auto. I don't have heated or cooled seats in this car, but we can do max defrost. That's pretty cool. And obviously I'll offer on back to the home menu. We got our radio. I won't kick that on because I don't really want to deal with copyright. So I'm assuming I can make it so my Power Stoke logo comes on. That's pretty cool. Google Chrome, you got file manager. So if you put all your own like music on here via a USB or something, there you go. We got OnStar on here. Steering wheel, what is this? Oh, cool. Steering wheel button controls. That's pretty funny. I've already got them all on here. And with that, you guys, we officially have installed the Digital Octopus CC10-15 Slim Radio. It is honestly more intimidating in the packaging than it really is. It's a very, very easy install. It's based, it is all plug and play. Every piece that comes with it plugs into a very certain spot. You can't goof any of it up. It is really easy. The guys who are Digital Octopus did us a huge favor for us DIY guys. And look at this. Nice big touchscreen radio in your 2010 Camaro. This looks awesome. So I can't wait to go ahead and mess with all the settings, get this nice and customized to my liking, get my music pumping through it, see if any of these speakers actually work in this car because uh, it is the crackhead Camaro after all. So with that, we're gonna go ahead and end the video. Thank you guys so much. I'll put a link down in the description below for this radio for you guys. Absolutely incredible. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video and I'll talk to you later. See ya.